I'm Shaista Malik. I'm from the University of California, Irvine, and I gave a talk on preventing heart disease in women. Uh, specifically, I talked about the differences in risk factors for men and women when it comes to developing heart disease and how there's increased relative risk for certain risk factors in women, namely diabetes uh, was the one I focused on in my talk. Uh, diabetes confers a 50% increased relative risk in women compared to men when it comes to coronary artery disease. Um, coronary, and diabetes is a risk equivalent of heart disease um, in women. Uh, I also talked about the new guidelines for non-invasive uh, strategies for diagnosing heart disease in women. And the new guidelines published in circulation last month really recognize that there is a contribution of non-obstructive disease and microvascular dysfunction in the coronaries when it comes to uh, cardiovascular events. And in order to prevent these events in women, we now need to not only rule out obstructive coronary artery disease, but continue with diagnostic uh, modalities that are available to us to make sure that women don't have microvascular disease. And uh, some of the imaging that helps us risk stratify women that are still at risk for having a cardiovascular event, even in the setting of a normal angiogram, include a cardiac MRI, which helps to look at subendothelial dysfunction, uh, as well as a CT angiogram, which shows us prevalence of non-obstructive disease. Because uh, there's new data to suggest that in, certainly in women, non-obstructive disease leads to higher cardiovascular events. And uh, there's some very new data suggesting that even in men, non-obstructive disease and microvascular dysfunction lead to higher cardiovascular events.